It's a great day, my amazing CEOs. Imagine this. You're a parent juggling work, family, and all the chaos that life throws your way. You want to provide a healthy homemade meal for your loved ones, but luxury is a, something that you can't afford because you don't have the time. Does that sound familiar to you? If it does, you're not alone. See, back in 1980, Doris Christopher faced a similar dilemma. How does she cook a homemade meal when time was very tight? The struggle was real. How to balance the desire for a homemade meal with the demands of a busy life. Now, let's look at this for a minute. Here's something that's a very interesting fact. Back in the 1980s, the economy was in an up and down turmoil. With inflation, it was high. Unemployment was going higher and higher and higher. So it was tough for families, by the way. Yes, you know, the struggle was real. They wanted to go out to eat, but they needed to cook a healthy homemade meal. And thus, a solution was born that would change the way people cook forever. Enter the founder, Doris Christopher, the visionary behind Pampered Chef, faced with the challenge of finding flexible work that allowed her to spend time with her family, gotta sound familiar, she took matters in her own hand, drawing up her passion for cooking and teaching. Now, here's two, some of you have passions. Cooking and teaching, she founded Pampered Chef, offering quality kitchen tools and cooking demonstrations. And as a result, meal preparation became a breeze. Sound familiar? That's right. Sales strategy at its finest. So by identifying a need in the market, providing a solution that resonated with her clients, Pampered Chef flourished. So what's my big takeaway for you as a CEO this morning? Just like Doris Christopher, the CEO of Pampered Chef, achieved success by having a sales strategy a sales system that was the pots, the pans, and that, and teaching, well, she solved a huge problem, got paid big money, and today Pampered Chef is what it is today. It's the juggernaut that we know it today. You can do the same. Focus on solving a problem, focus on connecting with your client or customers, and third, have a sales strategy, sales system, and sales funnel, and you will find yourself and your revenue going up, 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 and away. With that being said, my name is Shay Brown. It's an honor and a privilege to be the host of the CEO Sales Huddle. With that being said, every morning, we like to start off the way we do every single morning, which is with our mantra. And our mantra is, if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. Now, Shay, why is that? It's because sales is the oxygen for every great business in history. And without sales, there's always more money going out than there is coming in. So what's the point you wanna make this morning, Shay? Selling is serious business. Selling is serious business. If you're a CEO, you're watching right now, go ahead and put this down in your notes. Selling is serious business, that's right. Now after we do our mantra, we like to go over and we like to do our pledge. And the pledge is something that we put together. It's three easy words, but it's something that every CEO needs to say every single morning. And those three words are learn, earn, and return. Now, I want you to repeat this pledge after me, just like you probably do your gratitude every morning. Maybe you do your affirmations every morning. Maybe you do your prayer every morning. But this is something that every CEO needs to do every single morning. And here it is. I must, well, let's go put it up first. There we go. There we go. There we go. On the right-hand side. I have to learn something new. Repeat after me, repeat after me. I have to learn something new in order to earn new revenue from current clients in order to get new and old clients to return. I must learn, I must earn, and I must return. Got it. All right, so every morning we get together. I love to share this because I think it's the most important thing that we do, and that is an opportunity for us all to come together and at least check in. Now, why do we check in? Well, how do we check in? I'll say, look right below the video, look right below the video and write these words, hashtag, I'm here. So your CEO, you're checking in. You're checking in with the sales organization. You're letting the sales organization know that you're in the meeting that generates the revenue for the business. If you're watching the replay, put hashtag replay. Nothing wrong with that. Put a hashtag replay. You're tuning into the replay. If you can't do it because you're online, you listen to the podcast, you're on one of our streaming networks, maybe you're on Apple TV, maybe you're on Roku, maybe you're on uh, Amazon, uh, maybe you're on YouTube Live, any one of the platforms you're on right now, you can't do it, drop me a DM over at, at IMJBrown. I read every EM, 
DM. I read every message and I respond. So put hashtag I'm here if you can. Hashtag I'm here. You're in the conversation. What is the CEO sales huddle? The CEO sales huddle is a place where CEOs gather to understand how to sell more faster. So you already know how to sell. The only question is how do you sell more faster? We get together for three reasons. It's about sales growth, Got it, Jay. Check that in there. So you're looking at your sales organization. You're the CEO. Sales is the fastest, easiest way to grow the business. It's the only way to generate revenue. So we're looking for sales growth. Number two, accountability. I've said this, but it's so true. We'll often do more for others than we'll do for ourselves. So you're going to check in. And then number three, consistency. That might be a word you heard before. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. And having said that, what do most people struggle with most? They struggle with consistency. That's not you. 15 minutes a day is all that we ask for. 15 minutes a day. 1% of your day as a CEO, you think about it. 1% of your day. There are 1,440 minutes in every day. Now, you can take 1% of your day, focus on the sales organization, which is the only organization that generates revenue in the business. There is no of the way to bring in money in the business other than sales. I mean, you could borrow the money, but good luck with that. You got to pay it back. So you still got to make some money. You might get an angel investor. Good luck with that. That just sometimes money magically falls out the sky, by the way. Other than that, you get up every day, you solve a problem. The bigger the problem, the more money you make. The more times you solve the problem, the more money you make. So either way, when you solve problems, you get paid. Not a bad formula. So what is our number one outcome for the CEO sales huddle? Our number one outcome is $100,000 a month of consistent, predictable, reliable revenue. Over and beyond whatever you're earning today, you add on an extra $100,000 plus. And this is every single month, month after month, month after month. So as we get started, one of our favorite segments, at least one of my favorite segments that we do every single morning is the CEO sales dashboard. Now, the CEO sales dashboard is a, is a wonderful place to check in because the CEO sales dashboard was created because there was a problem. A number of folks, CEOs, said, I need one place to go to. I need to be able to measure what's going on in the sales organization. And inside the sales organization, I need to look at five indicators. One of them is leads. The other is appointments. The other is offers. The other is deals. And the last one is repeat business. So you got leads, appointments, offers, deals, repeat business. Now, you only got five indicators. And we're going to spend maybe three to four minutes looking at those indicators. So first thing I want you to do is download, and open up your CEO sales dashboard. Now, we created it to solve a problem so the CEOs would know exactly where they could go every single morning. They could tune in and they could go in and they could measure it. So, so now we've solved a problem. Does, isn't that a good feeling to know that the problem has been solved? So you open up the CEO sales dashboard. It's going to look just like this in the Excel sheet. You go all the way across the top and you look at 1 through 31. Once you get to today's date, come down the right-hand side and you're going to take a look at the leads. So I want you to look at it. How many leads came into the database yesterday? Now, you, you're in the sales organization. You're the CEO. You're having a conversation. Now, if you're having a conversation with yourself, that's nothing wrong with that. Okay? Then you have a conversation with yourself. If you're a sales director or sales leader, many of you are sales managers, go back and watch this. Thanks for the comments. I appreciate it. I know you have sales teams, but you're seeing yourself as a CEO of the organization. Hey, I appreciate you, all my sales organization and sales leaders and sales directors and sales managers and sales supervisors and sales team leads, man. Peace. You guys are amazing. You're incredible. Um, I, I have nothing but the utmost respect for you. And all my CEOs, the entrepreneurs that do this as dualpreneurs, I have nothing but respect for you either. And all the dual and all the people who do it full time, we all got to do the same thing. See, it doesn't matter what category you're in. What matters most is you complete this. So let's go look at leads. Now, down the right hand side, we have several buckets and there are subcategories. And you can, you know, customize those, you can add, you can subtract rows over there. So let's just take a look at leads. I like to look at a, a segment every morning. So now we're going to go take a look at leads. And let's pull this chart up so you can kind of see it there, so you can have a reference point. And now we're going to go look at leads. Now, underneath leads, there are five type of categories. Now, you might add some categories to this, but for now, this works for probably 90% of you. First is how many new leads were new to the CRM? So go over there now, check in, and put a number there. Now, 
if you have to do this while you're here right now, like you're the CEO, like Shay, I'm the CEO everything. CEO stands, I'm CEO everything, okay? If that's you, it's okay. Open up the spreadsheet. Go to your CRM or go to your spreadsheet or go to your business card file, wherever you look at and say, hmm, how many new leads came in yesterday? And then look at the trend over the last week. And then go back and look at the trend over the last 30 days. And if you've been with us for 60 days or 90 days, look at the trend over the last 90 days. Now, of that, how many were engaged? Now, engaged means they may have opted into your database. Engaged means they might have responded to an email. Engaged means you might have spoken on the stage or it might have been an automated webinar and someone communicated back. So how many are engaged? And engaged are folks who have taken some action in the last 30 days. So we're only tracking people who were engaged yesterday. And engaged leads are important because you can have leads and maybe they have an interest, but they just don't become engaged. Now, I know referrals are important. Um, I hear that wherever I go, that Shay, I typically work with referrals. That's what drives my business. And you're right. You can get one or two good referrals and it can make the whole month. I understand that. So let's go track how many referrals came in. Now, you can't manufacture referrals. You can't make them happen. But you do your job and maybe some referrals you're on. Or maybe you have, some of you have an affiliate program. Some of you have ambassador programs or different programs. But let's just go look at referrals for now. We're going to keep it very simple. How many referrals came in yesterday? That's zero, one, two, three, four, five, whatever numbers. Put the number down now. And then after you do that, let's go all the way over to qualify leads. And then as you were going through your conversations yesterday or your meetings or your Zooms or however you were doing it, how many folks were qualified? That means they had an interest, want, or desire. And it all starts with a qualified lead. The reason I spend so much time on this is I want you to recognize that nothing happens without a lead. Let me give you first a mindset, and then we're going to move on to celebrate wins around leads. Number one, leads represent hope. No leads, no hope. And so we want to make sure we have leads coming in because it helps us have some hope. Number two, there are too many leads. You can't work with everybody. Comforting feeling. And number three, the list of people who don't know you is so much longer than the list of people who do know you. So we're going to focus on always getting in front of new people. That's our, that's our number one role as the CEO is to continue to get in front of new folks who have no idea who we are so we can solve a problem. Yeah, your current list, they'll make you, they'll get, they'll make you a lot of money. I believe that. But strangers will make you very wealthy. So we're always looking to get in front of new people who are people who don't know who we are. Okay. Celebrate wins. Let's take a look at this. We don't just beat ourselves up. This is not why we show up every day just to say, beat ourselves up. You didn't do a good job. Get on you. No, no, no. We step back and we acknowledge what's working for us. And so now we're going to take a look on the other side. We're going to say, hmm, what has been working for us? And as we do, what are you most proud of? What was your biggest accomplishment? What do you want to brag about today? So if we could bring you on here today and you could brag, what would you brag about? Would you say, man, I'm just so excited. That's something that just just has just made a huge, huge, huge difference for me. Okay. Uh, I think that's right here. I'm going to get this out your way. There we go. All righty. Now we're going to move into what hurdles are out there. So one thing I love about it, we're at the 13 minute and 29 second mark, is that we don't just focus on, oh, here's what went wrong. No, 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 no. We like to look at what challenges do we have that are out there that we've got to recognize. And there's three challenges. So let's go and ask ourselves some questions. We know some hurdles we got to overcome. Every day is not going to be always easy peasy breezy. Number one, what was your biggest roadblock yesterday just for the sales organization? Seriously, just look at the sales organization and you say, wow, when I step back and I look at the sales organization yesterday, this was our biggest roadblock. Number two, what's preventing you today? So you already have your calendar. You know what's going to go on. You have an idea in your head without any planning or maybe some of you have already planned. What's your biggest challenge? What's preventing you today from just moving something forward? And what are you going to do about it? Maybe you can't do anything about it. That's okay. We, we, just, we, just, we just acknowledge it. Number three, what's the one thing you can do that if you did it would help move the needle forward? And I want you to focus on that today. My message of the day. Stay focused. My message of the day, stay focused. My message of the day, when you stay focused on the sales organization, you're going to end up getting exactly what you're looking for. In many cases, the reason we have this is not to be a raw, raw session. We want you to stay focused on two areas. Number one, 
that sales is the oxygen for any great business in history and that selling is serious business. So I've got to stay focused on that. And number two, and what are the key metrics that drive the complete sales organization? Let me stay focused on those as well, because when I do, good things happen. When I do, then I find myself seeing the sales grow, customers grow, the business grows, we're impacting lives, we're generating revenue, and we're profitable, and everyone is happy. And here's the good news. You can do it. So with that being said, you're amazing. You're one successful CEO. You are an incredible CEO. You're a compassionate CEO. You are a, a servant CEO. And you're someone out there that's not only making a difference in the world, but you're impacting lives and you're leaving a legacy for humanity. With that being said, keep doing what you're doing because I believe your best is still yet to come. Your best is yet to come. Your best is yet to come. With that being said, my name is Shay Brown. It's been an honor and a privilege to serve you as the host of the CEO Sales Huddle. I'll see you, well, on the other side, at the next huddle. Peace.